हेलो गाइस इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डायरेक्ट कपल्ड एम्पलीफायर सर्किट सो हियर वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन कंस्ट्रक्शन विद सर्किट डायग्राम एंड ऑपरेशन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ द डायरेक्ट कपल्ड एम्पलीफायर सर्किट दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर नाइन इन एनोलॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच द प्रीवियस लेक्चर देन यू कैन क्लिक एट द आई बटन देन यू कैन वॉच द प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो हियर वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट द डायरेक्ट कपल एम्पलीफायर सर्किट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द डायरेक्ट कपल एम्पलीफायर सर्किट सो डायरेक्ट कपल एम्पलीफायर सर्किट्स आर दो टाइप्स ऑफ द एम्पलीफायर सर्किट इन विच द आउटपुट ऑफ द फर्स्ट स्टेज इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू द इनपुट ऑफ द सेकेंड स्टेज विथआउट फ्रिक्वेंसी जनरेटिंग कंपोनेंट्स एग्जाम्पल द कैपेसिटर इंडक्टर एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मर so here we are directly connecting the output of the first stage to the input of the second stage without using any coupling devices in such a way as to permit the zero frequency so this type of the amplifier circuits are known as the direct coupled amplifier circuit and these circuits are also known as the dc amplifier circuit those so the circuit diagram for the same is given here you can see the output from the collector terminal is directly connected to the input terminal of the second transistor without using any coupling device so this type of the amplifier circuits are known as direct coupled amplifier circuit now we will discuss about the construction of the direct coupled amplifier circuit so for the construction of direct coupled amplifier circuit discuss about the construction of the direct coupled amplifier circuit so the circuit diagram of the direct coupled amplifier circuit is given here you can see so in the circuit diagram r1 r1 r2 and re provide the stabilizing and biasing network suppose that if we don't use the re then the biasing biasing of the transistor will be disturbed the output of the transistor first transistor t1 is directly coupled to the input of the input to the base of the transistor T2. So here the output which is which is obtained from the transistor T1 is directly coupled to the input of the input of the second transistor T2 without using any type of the coupling method. So here the output will be the output of the second stage will appear at the collector terminal of the second. The required output is obtained at the collector of the second stage. transistors so from here we will obtain our required output and we will connect this output to our required device now we will discuss about the operation and working of the direct coupled amplifier circuit the circuit diagram for the same is given here as we apply the input signal through the base terminal of the first transistor t1 then this will be amplified by beta times so we know that beta is the amplification factor suppose that we have given input signal ib to the base terminal then we will obtain the output ic equals to beta times ib at the collector terminal so the input signal we uh, the input signal will be amplified by beta times at the output terminal that is collector terminal of the first transistor and then this this output is applied to the base terminal of the second transistor t2 which further amplifies the signal in this way a signal is amplified in a direct coupled amplifier circuit so from here the output of the first transistor t1 is applied directly to the input of the transistor t2 and then again this signal is amplified by beta times and then the output final output will appear at the collector terminal of the second stage transistor t2 and from here we will connect our output device so this is the working and operation of the direct coupled amplifier circuit so guys if you like this video then you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel by hitting the red button thanks for watching